In this video, we will perform metric weight conversions using unit fractions. In the first example, we want to convert 0.245 kilograms into grams. We begin by writing 0.245 kilograms as a fraction with a denominator of 1. And now looking at the conversions, notice that 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. We use this conversion to form a unit fraction to convert kilograms to grams. Because we want kilograms to simplify out and kilograms is in the numerator, we must have kilograms in the denominator of the unit fraction and therefore we have grams in the numerator. And since the conversion is one kilogram equals 1,000 grams, the unit fraction is 1,000 grams over one kilogram. So because we have kilograms divided by kilograms, the units of kilograms simplify out, leaving us with grams. Notice now the units are in grams. So now we multiply. Notice how the denominator is one, and therefore the product is just 0 0.245 times 1,000, which is 245, and now the units are grams. 0 0.245 kilograms equals 245 grams. Next, we want to convert 7,280 grams to kilograms. We begin by writing 7,280 grams as a fraction with the denominator of one. To perform this conversion, we will still use the fact that one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams, but now we want the grams to simplify out, and since we have grams in the numerator, this time, grams must be in the denominator of the unit fraction and kilograms must be in the numerator. And using the conversion one kilogram equals 1,000 grams, the unit fraction is now one kilogram over 1,000 grams. Again, we have grams divided by grams and therefore grams simplify out, leaving us with kilograms. So now we multiply, but notice this time we have a fraction. The numerator is 7,280 and the denominator is 1,000 and the units are now kilograms. But to finish, we do have to find this quotient, 7,280 divided by 1,000 is equal to 7.28, giving us 7.28 kilograms. 7,280 grams equals 7.28 kilograms. For the last example, we want to convert 0 0.23175 kilograms to milligrams. We first write the given weight as a fraction with the denominator of one. And now looking at our conversions, there's no direct conversion given from kilograms to milligrams. We will first have to convert kilograms to grams using the conversion one kilogram equals 1,000 grams and then convert grams to milligrams using the conversion one gram equals 1,000 milligrams. Because we have to use two conversions, we will have two unit fractions. Let's first convert kilograms to grams. Since we want kilograms to simplify out, we have to have kilograms in the denominator since we have kilograms in the numerator here, which means we have grams in the numerator. Because the conversion is one kilogram equals 1,000 grams, the unit fraction is 1,000 grams over one kilogram. Notice kilograms simplify out and now we have grams, but we want milligrams. Which means for the second unit fraction, because we have grams in the numerator, in order for grams to simplify out, we need grams in the denominator of the second unit fraction and milligrams in the numerator. Using the conversion one gram equals 1,000 milligrams, the unit fraction is 1,000 milligrams over one gram. And again, notice how grams simplify out, and now we have the correct units of milligrams. And now we multiply, and again, notice how we have a denominator of one, and therefore we just have 0 0.23175 times 1,000 times 1,000, which is equal to 231,750, and the units are milligrams. So now we know 0 0.23175 kilograms equals 231,750 milligrams. I hope you found this helpful.